Shakur Stevenson successfully defended his WBC lightweight title with a dominant one-sided unanimous decision win over Artem Hartunyan on Saturday in his hometown of Newark, New Jersey. Shakur was a minus 3,500 favorite, so him winning wasn't nothing that we didn't expect. But Shakur's performance really fell short of a spectacular showing I feel he needed to keep pace with the other champions in the weight class and the likes of Gervonta Davis and Vasily Lomachenko especially with his lackluster performance against Edwin De Los Santos, where they combined for the least amount of punches landed in a championship fight. Even though this fight with Artem being a little better, we were still able to see Stevenson's technical skills, including his superior hand speed, punching accuracy, and defensive prowess. Even with Shakur's dominance, he really failed to trouble Artem. And despite pleas from his grandfather and trainer, Wally Moses, the 27 year old couldn't really kick it into that next gear to get the stoppage, but he would always remain defensively sound and cautious like he usually does in all of his fights. And at about midway through the fight, you could hear boos throughout the stadium as well as fans leaving. And I feel that's just crazy to think to be the hometown fighter and having your own hometown people leave as well as boo you. So with all of that, I really feel like it brings up the question, what is missing with Shakur Stevenson? On the surface, he's doing everything right winning by unanimous decision, really shutting guys out. What I feel is missing with Shakur Stevenson is his killer instincts. And like he said in his post-fight interview, he needs the right dance partner that's willing to fight in order for him to bring that out. But now I feel like we've seen both sides of Shakur. He walked down Artem and Artem wasn't really trying to trade. He was almost trying to survive. And on the other hand with Edwin De Los Santos, we saw that when he was met with pressure, he was more of a mover and quote unquote running. But I think he's just too technically sound, smart, as well as athletic to really sit down and get into a dogfight. I mean, when you're as gifted as Shakur is, why risk it? But on the other side of that coin, it puts him in the situation that he is now, not being really entertaining, as well as not being able to sell pay-per-views, especially with fighters like Gervonta Davis, Vasily Lomachenko, Isaac Cruz, Teofimo Lopez, just to name a few in and around his weight class that bring that entertainment value. I really feel it puts Shakur's style at a disadvantage as far as entertainment, but as far as winning, he may be the best, but only time will tell. But that's just my honest take on things. You guys go ahead and let me know down in the comments what you guys think about Shakur's performance, as well as what holds for the future for him. Make sure to like and subscribe. Until next time.